for this subject for N4 Electrotechnics. This is the principles of electricity, which makes up 30% of the curriculum. And in this video, we'll be looking at resistors in series and resistors in parallel. Now, for resistors in series, if we have a look at the circuit diagram, to calculate the total resistance, it's R1 plus R2 plus R3. Current remains the same. However, what we find is that voltage is divided. Therefore, the sum of the volt drops is equal to the total voltage. For this example, four resistors in series, three resistors of 10 ohms, 20 ohms, and 30 ohms are connected in series across the 220 volt supply. Draw the above circuit and then calculate the following. In part A, the total resistance is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. If we substitute the values in there, we have a total resistance of 60 ohms. To calculate the total current flow in a series circuit, we use Ohm's law. So it'll be V total divided by R total. Therefore, the current flowing throughout the entire circuit is 3,667 amps. Because it's a series circuit, voltage is divided. Therefore, there will be a volt drop across each resistor. And the sum of the volt drops is equal to the supply voltage. And therefore, the current remains the same throughout the circuit. And we'll multiply the total current by the value of each resistor. And therefore, if we add up the sum of the volt drops, we should get the total voltage supply for a series circuit. For a parallel circuit, there are more than there's more than one method to calculate the total resistance. Normally, the formula in the formula sheet looks like the one right at the top. However, what I prefer to do is to say 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3, all to the power of minus 1. Then we don't have to invert the resistance total when we get to the end. So therefore, for a parallel circuit for resistors, voltage remains the same across the parallel branch and current is divided. In this example, for resistors in parallel, we have three resistors of 40 ohms, 50 ohms, and 60 ohms. They are connected in parallel across a 250 volt supply. And we need to calculate the following, the total resistance of the circuit. So inside our big brackets, we have one over 40 plus one over 50 plus one over 60, all to the power of minus one. And that will give us the resistance total for the parallel branch. Now, the total current in the circuit using Ohm's law will be V total divided by R total. Therefore, the total current in the circuit is 15,417 amps. Now, the voltage across a parallel circuit remains the same. So therefore, the volt drop across each resistor will be the same as the voltage supply for the current circuit that we have. And to calculate the total current through each branch, Remember, the voltage remains the same, so we'll use the same voltage divided by the value of each resistor, and that will give us the current through each branch. Here we have a series parallel combination. We have a parallel branch of three resistors, and that is connected to three resistors in series. Therefore, to calculate the total resistance for this parallel series combination, we'll first calculate the parallel branch and then we will add the resistors connected in series. Once again, I'll put everything inside the big brackets. We have one over 10 plus one over 20 plus one over 15, all to the power of minus one. And then we will add the resistors in series of five ohms, three ohms, and two ohms. Therefore, the total resistance for our combination circuit is 14,615 ohms. Thank you for watching this video for resistors in series and resistors.